Hi, I'm Jim Porter. I work here at the City Building, 11 Church Street in Callis. Today I wanted to sh tell you about uh, some paintings we have here in the main hallway of the City Building. These paintings were commissioned in 2009 when we celebrated our bicentennial. Uh, artist, local artist Tom Brennan did the paintings for us and uh, the purpose was to preserve a, a legacy of what it was like to live here in the early 21st century. Uh, to be around to, hopefully till the next century. Uh, one of the main features of these photo, uh, these paintings are that uh, they show local people doing things we celebrate through the seasons. The first one's called Memorial Day Tribute and uh, it shows uh, the annual speeches given in uh, Memorial Park on Memorial Day. Uh, to give you an example of some of the uh, local people that you may recognize. We have Mike McLean, head of the American Legion. Uh, Bob, Pastor Bob Hinton giving a speech there. And you'll see Diane Barnes, the city manager. Assistant Fire Chief Ken Clark over there on the side. Very colorful painting from uh, the spring. Next, we have uh, another scene from Memorial Park. You may recognize Al Churchill and Fred Becker going over Wayne Crosby's 1955 Chevy. Uh, the painting is entitled Antique Auto Show. The next painting we have is a, a favorite. It's called Music on the Green, and it uh, depicts a, a scene from any Tuesday night downtown, Callis in the summer. The band playing and uh, You'll t you may recognize dozens of faces in this one. Uh, very colorful painting, the buildings in the background. Uh, I see here John Mitchell, Bill Cassidy, the Delmonico brothers, among others. You'll, you'll recognize many faces in that photo. Our next painting is a retro painting from, I, I think, I, I would say the 1970s. It shows a, a scene from the International Festival Parade, the bagpipers. Uh, in the background, you know, you'll know it's the 70s, you'll see the sign for uh, Down East Electronics, uh, and you may re re recognize Gordon Lord and Hoodie Seeley, uh, a couple of paces from the past. Next we have uh, a blueberry lesson, and this shows the artist and his family, he's uh, picking blueberries and giving them a lesson, a tutorial on picking blueberries in the summer. You may have noticed that these paintings are in chronological order. They start in the spring and go through the seasons. Uh, here we are still in the summer. The painting called A Day in the Life, it takes place at the Callis Pool. I'm sure we all have childhood memories of uh, enjoying that pool in the summertime. We move on to fall. This painting is called uh, Halloween at the Library, and it shows the assembly of before the Halloween parade. Uh, you notice the band members and uh, people dressed up in costume ready to go in the annual Halloween parade. The next painting is called Home for the Holidays. It's, it's my favorite painting. It shows the uh, You'll see the buildings in the background, uh, the parade on Main Street for the uh, Christmas parade in the evening. Uh, you see the lights glowing through the window. Uh, here again, you're going to recognize dozens of faces, from the, uh, some from the past, some, some are still around, still with us. Uh, you'll notice uh, Dickie Barnett uh, riding on the truck, you know, the, the Johnson family, John Johnson and his father, and Cindy Johnson. Uh, but uh, you'll, you'll recognize many, many faces from this picture. And you'll see, also see the movie theater with the Christmas uh, titles on the marquee. The next painting we have, uh, it shows that everything isn't always rosy, uh, and we should remember that for everybody. That uh, This is called Tied to the Tank, and it shows an elderly couple peering through the window with concern on their face on a cold winter's day. Uh, you can tell perhaps that they're 
<clears throat> fixed income most of it's going to the heat and uh, just to pay for the heat and uh, they're not able to keep up with the maintenance uh, one of the things I really like about this painting is the it has almost a 3d 3d effect as the snow is sculptured <clears throat> and finally we have uh, a painting called the home game and it depicts uh, a scene from the high school basketball game, the Blue, our Blue Devils. Uh, I'm sure we all have uh, enjoyed many a uh, winter evening listening to the games and going to the games. Both boys and girls always seem to be in contention for the gold ball. So, those are the paintings that we have on display here at the City Building. Again, they were done to commemorate the uh, bicentennial in 2009. We're very proud to have them. Tom Brennan is the artist. Uh, local artist. He's done a very good job. Uh, we hope you can come in and see these paintings sometime.